And there we have it, look. The VIP Convoy. You don't see that every day, do you? Well, try to run me off the road, they are. What's that all about? So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at, well I'm not sure what the building is actually called, but it's the Conservative Party Conference. And we have some security here, the entry point too. It looks like it's called the Hyatt Regency. What is it, like a hotel? Yeah, hi sir, how are you? you okay? I'm okay, yeah, I'm okay. May I ask you what you're up to? Yeah, I'm just filming around the area. Are you a photographer or press or anything like that? Just, just a member of the public. All oh, right, in relation to the conference. Yeah, but what actually is the building? What's it used? It's a hotel. Normally a hotel, yes, but it's been, normally a hotel. been solely taken over by this I event. I don't know the ins and outs of how it works inside. Yeah. But it has been aligned, assigned to some people, yeah, for the last three days. Right, OK. And is this where VIPs are going to enter? No, it's not VIPs. This is just... We don't see the VIPs. What do you class as a VIP? Well, everyone's got their own opinion of a VIP, isn't they? My mum's a VIP. I Any um, <laughs> members of parliament going to enter through here? I, I don't think so, right. no. I think they've got their own different entrance for here. Yeah. I'll have a good look around anyway. Okay, is is no, the, the fence normally here then at the back? To be honest, I don't know. We're not from Birmingham. No, I'm not. So I can't really pass a comment. Which uh, force are you from? We're all West Midlands. Right. Okay. So yeah, so obviously, because of what's going on, police officers will approach you. Yeah, you no talk problem. To film, obviously, but it's just a, 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 an event that people are interested in. It's I'm all over the press. Yeah, I haven't seen it because I've been stood out here. Well, as long as it's dry. As long as it's dry, it keeps dry. Yeah. But yeah, you may get challenged, but that's just yeah. police officers there. Just doing what we do. It's an unusual hotel. You can't see it in at all, can you? Yeah, we've got in here lots of um, Land Rovers, Discoveries, even got some police bikes down at the back there. Yeah, is it opening? I don't know. When it opens, I'll, I'll make myself safe, don't worry. I just want to, I'm interested in the bikes, and I don't know if you can see them from the other angle. You'll get a better angle up the top. Top of where? Up the top there, where those yellow gates are. Right, okay. Sounds good to me. All right, so see you later. Yeah, see you in a bit. We've oh, got a vehicle coming in now. Let's just see what type of people are using this, uh, this road, because it is heavily managed by West Midlands Police. So actually people going into this entrance here. Which is just another underground car park. HSBC building there. Some very fancy buildings around. It's very nice. But as you would expect, a very heavy police presence and team refrigeration as well, look. Hmm. The need for refrigeration trailers. I'm not sure. So let's get a closer look at these motorcycles from around the corner. Yeah, I don't think this fence is normally here because it makes the footpath pretty tight. So they've taken over the public footpath with their party conference. So yeah, you can see a little bit closer to the motorbikes and it does look like they're getting ready to, yeah. to get on them right now. Yeah. 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 Looks like somebody important's just about to leave the building. But it's very windy here today. Hopefully the, the mic is doing its job. We've even got a unmarked motorcycle as well. Is 
Is that your bike there, fella? Yeah. Yeah, you can't leave that there, okay. buddy. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. have to shift it. Yeah, no problem. Where, you. where would you suggest putting that? I know that, that you've got a heightened alert at the minute. You don't yeah. want things lying around. Where would you suggest I put that? Just down the bottom of this road somewhere? To be fair, you won't be able to live anywhere in the square. I'll say some of the side streets and that. If you need to lock it up somewhere, do that. But if it's left somewhere unattended, it's going to be just. Yeah, the, the watch that. I can lock it up there. No, no. You right. can't leave it in a secure area. Yeah. The chain will be taken, and obviously, will be taken to a police station. Yeah, I was wondering where to leave it. And so, yeah, yeah. Go, go further out, outside of town, away from the conference centre. You can leave it there as yeah. you would do normally. Or just keep it with me next to me, hold well, it. Yeah, you can yeah. if you want yeah. to, yeah, yeah. if it makes sense. Yeah, I just want. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the motorbike, so I'll keep it on me for a minute. I'll grab yeah, it. Yeah, So we do have some action now. Some VIPs, as we call them, are getting into the vehicles. And we do have sirens. So let's get down to the bottom. Let's see if we can see them coming out. And there we have it, look. The VIP convoy. You don't see that every day, do you? Well, try to run me off the road, they are. What's that all about? It's not where you are, mate. What's the matter? Oi, oi, oi. It's not where you are. Why? Am, oh, I, am I being detained? Am I being detained? We're trying to explain why we're No, you don't, don't, you don't stop a member of the public like that. You let go of my bike. Don't even go there. Is it, is it a let go of me. Uh, let go of I'm me. Asking, I don't know what's happened. Well, find out before you touch a member of the public. Yeah. See that? Just trying to follow the cars out. And they go crazy, don't they? Wow. Not every day you see a convoy like that, is it, boys? I wanted to get a better shot of that, but your colleague stopped it. Oh, that's a shame. That was the money shot as well. Oh my god, you, a shot like that on YouTube would have got thousands and thousands of views. Well, so you got me instead. No, that's not good enough. <laughs> now, I know it's not your, uh, you're all trying to do your job, but Jesus Christ, why was I stopped then just for taking a video? Did you see it? No, I didn't see it now. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. So. Let's go back. See if we can get some more footage without being stopped by these. Not from the footpath, mate. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mind your bike, that just hurt my leg. Well, why don't you move out of the way? Well, if you. You've asked Put me to. a little bit more care. I am taking and care. You're this lady. You Thank you. I'm not blocking the lady there, you are. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. And you. Yeah, they're on uh, very high alert here. And they're not liking the camera too much, are they? But this is certainly the exit that we like. So we do have a few more vehicles in the compound, but most of them have now left. So let's continue having a look around. Now that bit of action has passed. and see what else we can find. Even got the armed police down there, look. Solomon Cutler Weather Spoons. Very nice. And then we have quite a few of the West Midlands Police motorcycles, the BMWs. One thousand two hundred CC. Oh, 
we have another unmarked BMW in there with more West Midlands police motorcyclists. And we've even got patrols across the canal. Police dotted all over the place, look. And lots of these barriers that protect the pedestrian. School, destroy the farming industry, insult all the stock, and here we have the, the going Steve and Bray camp, I believe. Three PMs till Christmas, so we've got a special offer on here today. If you buy one PM, you get one free. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks, yeah. <laughs> Don't ask a silly question, mate. Don't ask a silly question. Well, came past us earlier filming all the offices, filming filming that, so I'm just wondering for what purpose you're filming. Like, yeah, yeah. You can wonder. No, no um, problem, is it? No, 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 not at all. And I, I was just one wondering I'm, I'm allowed to ask the question you're allowed to answer or not it's entirely up to you yeah yeah we, we know we know all right yeah no of course I'm, I'm like I said I was purely asking the question yeah yeah, yeah 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 no problem yeah. let's carry on then yeah all right have a good day are you filming not at the moment it's a red light isn't it? no that's a green light that oh, means right, it's okay. in standby looks red to me looks there look. that's very from, green from what I can no, see that's that's, that's just the red to show no 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 it's all right standby. the green light on top means yeah, it's yeah. in standby if normally I press it now what does it look like when it's so now the red light on top oh, is flashing. Wouldn't it, make, red, wouldn't it make sense to have the red light on the front? That just shows that it's in standby mode. Right. So it's flashing red light now, which shows that. Oh, you, so now. you've got the... Um, so the ring light shows that The it's ring light, yeah. So that's that red is just nothing. That, that red just shows that it's active, not yeah. turned off. Yeah. Right it's all good, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah? Yeah. Crack on then. Have a good day. Oh, you've literally walked up here to talk to me? Well... This is part of our patrol area. Oh, right, so we, okay. We, we yeah, I was just going to stay around here for a little bit. No, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> Yeah, okay, mate. I just um, find it hard to move my bike around because I don't like, like to leave it 
because normally I just leave it on the stand, but yeah. around it, you can't really leave it on a tent, yeah, do you know what I mean? Exactly. So I've got to keep it on me at all times. Especially time. with the conference going on, it's probably a good idea not to leave things lying around, yeah. isn't it? Well, it makes sense. Common sense, yeah. isn't it, really? All right. We've even got somebody on the roof up there, look. With the binoculars on us. <laughs> wow. Wonder if we can spot any more up on the roof. And it looks like they're going to keep their eye on us now. So we may have to jump on the bike to lose them. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, good, thanks. And they've even got anti ram chains behind the fence. Yeah, good, thanks. Nothing much. Yeah, in between the blocks, they've actually got steel wires. Yes, thanks, yep. But strangely enough, the steel wires, they're supported on that block there and that block there, but on this particular one, they're just loose. So either side of the gate, they've not got the protection that they have elsewhere. Everything right, mate? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have a look around, mate. I find it fascinating. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Happy yeah, nice. I mean, the, the actual reinforcements between the blocks, they're a great idea, but they're not even fixed at the end ones, are they? It's not, I'm, not, I'm not a constructor, no, no. Engineer, my friend. I don't think they forgot. <laughs> Extreme measures. And here we have some more Land Rovers just getting ready to depart so let's make our way to the gate and watch them leave even got some metropolitan police bikes here to escort the MPs around the local road network we'll just park the bike up on the lamppost down there. <laughs> how dodgy is that, eh? But the question is, have we got a tracker in the bike? Yeah. You going over to the bike? I'll come with you. Oh, yeah. I thought you were on a scooter. No. Right. I've actually um, parked it there so it's a bit more near residential area and not near any entrances and stuff because yeah, no, leaving right. items unattended at the time. Yeah, yeah, there's a minute. Yeah, you think it'll be all right there? Yeah, should be I don't mean security wise, I just no, mean no. alert wise. Well, yeah, I mean, to be fair, there's been very lim limited footfall so right. it should be all right. You know, yeah. We've not seen that many people. So. Yeah, it's got a tracker on it anyway. So. Yeah, I mean, it's quite nice. Well, and it's, it's it. locked up. It's electric. It's one of those ones that are 250 watt motor. Yeah, so you pedal and go. Yeah. Really. It's but not bad for how small it is though. Yeah, it's foldable as well. That's quite good. Yeah, put it Very in the boot. Yeah. It's ideal for the, um, the type of work. Yeah. I'm saying too much. <laughs> Are we ex oh, yeah, I'm not going to ask you any questions because you can't answer anything at all. But. So let's just uh, <laughs> remain I, professional, eh? Yeah. So I assume it's for media purposes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Obviously you're allowed to film it. There's no issues with it. Yeah, a lot of people are interested. Not many people are nearby, so someone's got to cover it. Yeah. Well, inherently, these, uh, um, there's a whole YouTube channel that are dedicated to police convoys and stuff. To see it all the time. Yeah. Not an issue. I see. Well, we've... Well, welcome to film. Are you West Midlands? Are I you? Am, yeah. yeah, yeah. I see you covered. Um, got some coverage from the Mets as well. Uh, well, it'll be uh, multiple different forces, so. It's the way we should big operations. We to request to go out and be able to see answer. Yeah. And you've got a massive um, exclusion zone for drones, haven't you, at the moment? Yes, yes. There is an airspace restriction in place. Yeah. Also applies to helicopters as well. Does it? Drone assist is something that I use quite often. 
Ah, for the airspace. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're right there at the minute, right in the middle of that yeah. uh, circle. So <laughs> you've got no chance. Yeah. But it's nice to see the convoys um, from above as well. Yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately, they, uh, they're not very keen on that, as you can imagine why. It's not so much if you're just videoing harmlessly, but can't be so sure of that for a yeah. long time. So. But putting exclusion zone, the whole route of a convoy, it's just impossible. Yeah, yeah don't, that's, that's why. Yeah. Why they change the routes, you know, they're not they're skilled at what they do. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dynamic, ain't it? Everything's changing. Right, I'm going to continue to walk around, my friend. Um, it's perfectly fine. Do you know this fence? Is this normally here? So this is part of the cordon, um, part of the secure site, okay. So would I presume that the fence has only been put up in the last couple of weeks? Um, I can't say for certain, because I, I don't know Birmingham that well, personally, but I believe it is purely for the purpose of this uh, conference. Yeah. Um, it should be through being disassembled. Yeah. And what's, what's your take on the, um, the reinforced steel cables? I don't have a take on it. <laughs> would, <I> you, try. <laughs> would, would you expect them all to be secured as designed on I, both I sides? I'm not an expert in it. Um, I believe it's secure. That's why I've been informed and I, I, you know, it gets checked. So. Yeah. I'm just going to have a little look around no, anyway. That's all right. Feel free. Thank you, mate. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, good thanks. Are you today, you're right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just just interested in this cable here where it's fixed to, when it goes from that block, it goes to that coupling there. Oh and then to the gate. There's a lot of slack on it, isn't there? Quite a lot of slack on it. Oh. Searching for his next meal. You don't often get this close. To the squirrels. Sorry? Yeah, do me a favour, don't film me here. Why? One of them ones, are they? It's alright. Filming's allowed, mate. So, as we look around the area, we have unmarked motorcyclists just there. We have unmarked motorcyclist down there and I'm sure that they are definitely getting ready for a convoy coming out this gate very very soon. <laughs> is this a police bike is it? Police! So we should be able to see a blue light of some sort on it. No blue light at all? It's unusual, isn't it? Surely there's a blue light somewhere. There's got to be. Not even a number on the keys. Very incognito there. <laughs> awesome. So that's the police medic and the OFC, Operational Firearms Commander. So let's compare the two bikes. They look very similar, but they stand out like a sore thumb. 
<laughs> same boots, exactly the same boots. But once again, no blue lights at all. That might be a blue LED in there. Very, very similar number plate again. It's great to see that they've got this sort of measure in place because you can't be too careful nowadays. But this is what you can see. Imagine the stuff that's going around that you actually can't see. Because you're on the pavement. Uh, I'm delivering them. Yeah, just stay on the road, please. So we now have some activity over at the motorbikes. They're all putting their helmets on. And we've also got a gentleman trying to catch the attention. The gates also close in. So movement is imminent. We've got the undercover motorcyclist just there waiting. And we also have the other one just down there. So we've definitely got movement now from the Metropolitan Police. And we've definitely got communications coming through the air from the unmarked motorcyclist as well. We definitely have something very, very imminent. But the rain is absolutely pouring it down. They fired up the motorcycles and they're on the move. The convoy is about to begin. They're doing the distraction technique. They're making you wonder which direction they are going. I am betting it will be this direction here. So let's get this shot. The VIP convoy that we've all been waiting for in the rain here at the Conservative Conference 2022. Look at that. And off they go. Leaving unmarked motorcycle cup and his friend behind at the back there. Police liaison, constables there in the unmarked 308. And that is what we have all been waiting for. So there's no need for these guys to be here now. They only protect the most highest of profile members of parliament. So that's it. That's them done, they're off. And he's mounting the pavement when there's plenty of room on the road.
That was a nice uh, shot, weren't it? Did you enjoy that? That's what we've been here waiting for, a long convoy like that. First time myself seen something like that. Quite rare, isn't it? Very rare, yeah, very rare. yeah. And we got it on camera, so I'm proud of that. But people shouldn't be parking on the pavement like this. They've even got the blips, you know, the little blips here. I think because of the event, what the type of event it is, police usually. Yeah, well, if it's an excuse, it's an excuse, but road, plenty of space. And the motorcyclist that was waiting just behind that van has also disappeared now. So whoever it was in that convoy was very, very important. So even measures on the canal there, look, to stop people getting too close. But they're looking after them with a tent. Oh, yeah, yes, thanks. So it's a lovely location, but absolutely terrible weather. Another entrance here. Get in, Britain moving. Hashtag CPC22. Somebody important here with the umbrella being held for him. All coming out for lunch now. They fancy a burger apparently. So you'll notice the um, the security measures that they've put in place along the canal. Normally you could walk across there where there is now a fence with the gate and patrols all down the path. Police dotted absolutely everywhere possible. Even patrols down there as you come down the steps. So they even have the police boat on the canal ready to respond if anybody falls in you don't see that every day do you are you police no are you divers oh, very interesting just like that oh yeah yes thanks yeah 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 do you know how you guys are based in that boat? Yes. Are you one of the guys based yeah, in the yeah, boat? Yeah, yeah. What do you call yourselves? So we're just the operational support unit that works with West Midlands Police. So we're a department within West Midlands Police. Right, okay. So one of our um, roles that our department does is water search. So we have the boat for that reason primarily. Those three guys that just went up there, are they full waders? No, no, no. We do have all that stuff, but not today. So what were they wearing? Uh, oh, the guys, which one? Sorry. In the green? Yeah. Are oh, there a company that we use who design this barrier. Oh, so they're right. just wearing far weather gear because they'll, oh, they've got to take it, we're going to do a bit of modification to it so it'll be going off with them. So they've come to take it out of the water so they can take it back to their factory and they'll then. I'd be happy. So am I just about to see them enter the water or have I missed it? No, they probably won't be going in the water. We'll right. just use a boat to unclip it and we'll just drag it out and pick it up. So, right. so it's finished with now, is it? Uh, no, we haven't been told to lift it yet. Right. So we're just waiting on the, the word so we can all get out of water, go home and get dry. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, well, you've got a tent, better, oh, well, yeah, better than exactly. most. We are lucky compared to some of the poor souls, like these chaps over there, or Captain Chappis, that have got yeah, it's terrible weather. heavily. Do you know how the um, CRT, the Canal River Trust, yes. they, they sort of police the canals down there? Um, I think they kind of like make sure people have got licenses, insurance, and they maintain it as well, because they're up and down every day getting the rubbish and other bits and bobs out of it as well. But yeah. So your paths cross quite a bit, do they? No. So what? we have to get permission off them to come in. Uh, obviously we can go in if we need to for like a policing purpose, but for this we'll work with them and say, and they'll arrange any closures or... And put the signs up and stuff. Us. Yeah, yeah. They so. deal with the communication side Pretty of much, things. Pretty much, yeah. So they'll obviously speak to their members or whoever and the businesses that operate here and give them a bit of forewarning what's going on because what we don't want to do is slow people down and stop them living. Yeah. So, you know, but they're, they're pretty understanding and it doesn't happen very often, so yeah. not too bad. Well, what is the deal with magnet fishers? 
Did the CRT stop that, or do you guys stop I that? I don't know. I don't know. I've never stopped anybody making me fishing because generally they pull the rubbish out and it gets thrown in a bin, which is fine as far as I'm concerned. That's if they take it away, isn't it? That's if they take it away, yeah. And what about these magnet fishes that tend to get old grenades and stuff like that and cause well, big road closures? Yeah, we do get a bit of that and we respond to them. Yeah. Um, so. Because I must try because I don't come across um, the, what do you call yourself? Uh, boat police. Operational support unit. Operation. What's the most common? Um, what do people call you more commonly? We just, just generally, we are all just normal police officers. We all work for Westminster Police, but the department that we work on specialises in certain things. So we specialise in searching water, retrieving evidence from water. So if someone committed an offence and they seem to throw a weapon in, we can go in in our dry suits and try and hopefully retrieve it. Uh, we do search, public order, method of entry, taser, all sorts of stuff. Oh right. So we so kind of wear many hats. So, but for this today. We're here just to secure the canal. So you're the highest of skilled officer. That I wouldn't say we, no, not no, no, because lots and lots of high skilled officers. We just specialise in certain areas. Some people specialise in investigation. Some people specialise in offences against children, investigating those, or domestic violence, homicides, or things. You know, there's firearms officers at uh, top of the game in that. We don't. We're not armed. So. You're you're just trained in the interesting stuff, and it. So you've got the job that everyone in the I'm force very wants. Lucky. Yeah. I'm very lucky yeah. to work in the department that I work in. So do you actually? Um, when you actually uh, drive a boat, it's not called driving it, is it? It's called... Um, well, I've called it driving it, but I'm no sea captain. So. Is it, is it, it's not called piloting the boat, is it? Pilot, Cap, it's captain? captain? It's a, bit a little captain. boat like that, you can't call yourself a captain, yeah. can you? <laughs> no, not really. So, no. yeah, because I've never spoke to your sort of team before that... Um, a base, you're not based in a boat, you're based everywhere, but yeah, you're just skilled yeah. we, to... We work out of a big van ordinarily, so, um, right. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking more of um, London wise, where they're actually based on the boat, aren't oh, they, day to day? Marine units, yeah. So coastal marine forces, unit. That's yeah, what coast, I was thinking. So we're not a marine unit. Oh, okay. So coastal, coastal forces and um, the Met, because of the Thames and all the buildings next to it, have our marine units. But we kind of double hat with, we kind of overlap into this, so which is why we end up doing this because we're the most appropriately trained people within West Midlands to secure the canal and. What we need to do. It's really interesting for the viewers. Do you know this thing that you've got around your neck? Does yeah. it inflate? Pull that. And does it have a name? PFD, personal flotation uh, device. Because right. so, we're working near the water or we're in the boat, when we go in, we have to be able to. I mean, it's not that deep. I was in there on Friday and it's up to here. Is it? Yeah, so right, it's not okay. that bad. But um, obviously, shock and things like that, if you're cold, you can go down a really quick. So, yeah, personal oh, flotation device. Right, okay. And do you have to have it around your chest like that or can you have them on the legs? No, I think this, this one is worn here. I don't know about any other types. I'm no expert in kind of boating or anything like that, but we have to wear these just for health and safety. Yeah, I, I have seen on previous videos where you must have one of those. Yeah. And they did have a leg version, but yeah, it's, it's amazing stuff. Yeah. So it just pulls down there. And yeah, what, is it like a compressed gas? Yeah, there's a cylinder in here. I'll show you. There's a cylinder in there. Oh, right, okay. And it just literally inflates the whole of this. And it'll just keep your head up until someone can get to you or you can kind of paddle yourself out. So. And if you have had the unfortunate need to use that, the cylinder just unscrews and replaces yeah, it, it. Yeah, yeah, right. it's all replaceable. So we've got a stash of them that we just replace and we can use them. But I'm not aware of anybody ever having to use one, right, okay. which is good. So when you finish with that boat then, it just gets pulled out of the water and put yeah, in so the van, we'll does it? it to the slip. Uh, oh, onto the, the slip. slip way, yeah, and then we've, got, we've got a trailer, but we'll, we'll reach it out and we'll take it back to our base, give it a wash down and get it ready for the next one. So, so does it deflate before it gets...? No, no, we leave it inflated. Oh, do you? Yeah, it stays inflated. Yeah. Right. It loses a bit of air over time if it's not used, but we've just got tanks to top it up with. So. Right, OK. So. so with those suits then, you can actually get into the water up to your no, shoulders? I don't, think they, I don't think they're submersible suits. Right. I think they're just like waterproof gears. It's, I think it's like what you wear for your sailing, sort of splash and stuff. So. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's more of all-weather no, gear. It's wet-weather gear, to be honest with you. I don't think they're... Um, I'm aware none of them are planning on going in the water and I wouldn't want to go in wearing that. No, so. no. It does look like it's got a split yeah. at waist height. Yeah, I think they have to be fair. I think yeah. they're just waterproof. All right, well, thank you so much for talking to me. I've learned something new. No, you're and, very uh, welcome. Yeah, and now know we don't have a marine unit. We don't. That's no, the word. No, we don't. No. Right, thank you guys. Take care, look after yourself. Thank you. Take care. And that's the vehicle that they're based in U2B. Let's have a quick look. West Midlands Police, OPS, Operational Support. Ah! You wouldn't know it from the outside, would you? So now we know, them guys are in charge of this net here and they're just getting ready to wrap things up. So, uh, yeah. I don't think we'll hang around to watch that. 
because they're not moving very quick are they but you can clearly see how it's a an obstruction so the boats that are normally tearing up and down here <laughs> you know boaters please slow down and if they didn't slow down the canal and river trust are the guys to impose those fines or warnings etc it's an unusual sign isn't it boaters slow down <laughs> And the red, red flag determines just do not pass. Red, red flag stop for boaters. They, stop. They should be aware of stuff like this when they get their briefings. But a lot of the people we've dealt with here are Jimneys, the people who live on the canal, so they're yeah. fully aware. They've been briefed before. And it's to be expected, ain't it? A bit of disruption around such a major event like it's this. Problem, isn't it? Just as the uh, disruption causes to you, I, people live around here. Yeah. But everyone's safe and that's the main thing and there hasn't been a major problem, has there? No? Not heard no. much. Apart from the weather today, that's right. <laughs> well, the VIPs have not got to worry about that. <laughs> Are you alright with that? It's been hammered in, so it's just... Uh, and it's a bit slippy, isn't it? I think it will help if I take the camera off you, then you'll no, work no. it. <laughs> what I'm afraid of is I'll pull it and I'll pull backwards and then that's it. Yeah, you'll have to use one of your canisters. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you guys. And here we have the boats that are normally hide out, look. Not today. And this is how they do it. They've got some sort of pulley system. They're pulling from that end and it's retracting up against this end here. And you can see it's actually fixed to the brickwork down there. And police presence at this back gate has now eased off a little bit. We no longer have the armed police here. Just the standard West Midlands PCs. Oh, it's a, this is BB. This is BB, so yeah. And that's about it from Birmingham. We had our lunch and we came out. And there's hardly anybody left. And it even looks like the police are retiring for the day as well. You got a mic there? You're the media, are you? I'm the media, that's right. You are the there only no media other. outlet. If you hear the word media, it's me. Yeah. But is that your tag? At media? Exactly. Everywhere? It was. <laughs> yeah, you wish. <laughs> What's that? You wish. Well, imagine if you had GMB before Great Mo Good Morning Britain got control of it. Somebody yeah, would have been well, there. Yeah, there are other GMBs as well, aren't there? Well, the, the name change happened and then all of a sudden they've got GMB. But somebody must have had it before. If you want some action, right, over there... You've got the one of the women who interrupted Liz Truss. Oh, today? Yeah, so she's in front of the camera. I asked her if I could... Uh, I, I got a snap of them both. And then I said, can I film you? Was and, it? And they got permission and they said no. Right, is it so a, like, oh, Amy okay. McCarthy? No, Green, I Greenpeace. think her name is Rebecca Newsom. Oh, right. I just okay. heard her. She's head of policy for uh, Greenpeace. Right. The blonde one in the, in the kind of... She, the one with the camera facing her. Right, okay. Like you can't see her, she's down there. Um, and then the others in front of her, that's Disabled People Against the Cards. Uh, oh no, Disabled People's Alliance. And the guy, there's a guy there. See the guy on the phone behind the TV presenter now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He witnessed a MP assault someone, one of the disabled guys. Right. And then he went to the coppers and, they've, and they've, it was videoed. So he'll tell you a good story too. Right, okay. Is yeah, good stories. Yeah, yeah. Good story. We'll do, we'll do. I've got to take my bike with me because it told me off for leaving it alone. So, would, where do you stream or whatever? I'm, uh, I'm a distributor. We've got YouTube, Facebook, but Twitter, streaming now? everywhere. No, no, just, just it get edited later. I'm right, D well, DJ I'm, Audits. I'm obviously not going to make it to the edit, and that's fine. What's your name? DJ Audits? DJ Audits, yeah. Are you the one who goes around auditing everyone? Yeah. Really? I think I follow you on TikTok. For the betting industry, and I just stopped. So, this gentleman wants to have an Audits. interview. He likes to remain uh, incognito, so. You will not actually see what it looks like, but um, yeah, we thought we'd have a chat. 
Hello, DJ Audits. How's it going? Hi, I didn't get your name. What was your name? Runjan, R A N J N, but I'm Financial Eyes. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I'm really sorry. I think I just see something I recognise. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, mate. William, is that Dyer? Can you get it? You want me to get it? Sorry. So, let's see how the professionals do it, shall we? They see a target. And they chase. <laughs> so I think he wanted me to slate the police there, but it's not what we do, is it? But there he is, look, hunting his prey, getting his interview, earning his wage. What's that, my friend? It's, you've heard of Christopher Pinch, of the one who got Boris Johnson the sack. Yeah. That's, that's about him there. And this is the crimes he was covering up.